In this video, we are going to derive impulse response from transfer function of the system by using inverse Laplace transform concept. So, here observe the problem transfer function of stable system is h of s is equal to s by s plus 1 whole square. The impulse response is they given transfer function of the system. So, here the transfer function of the system is nothing but output transform by input transform. So, that transfer function is also called as Laplace transform or Fourier transform of impulse response. So, here from the knowledge of LTA systems, the impulse response h of t, this is impulse response, impulse response h of t and transfer function h of s. In, in case of Fourier transforms, this can be treated as h of omega or h of f. So, impulse response and transfer function or Laplace transform or Fourier transform pairs. So, here they given our transfer function in S domain means. So, we need to take the relation of h of t Laplace transform is equal to h of s. So, here they given h of s, we need to find out h of t. If they given h of t, by taking Laplace transform, you are going to get the transfer function. But they given reverse, that means they given transfer function, we need to find out the impulse response. So, how we can find the impulse response means by taking inverse Laplace transform of h of s, you are going to get impulse response. But your h of e is in the form of standard equation or not, you need to see. Given h of s is equal to given h of s is equal to s by s plus 1 whole square. But in this step itself, we can't apply inverse Laplace transform equation because this equation is not ready to transform into time domain. Why? Because this is not in any standard format. How we will transfer this? If you want to transfer in this form itself means only way is you need to use inverse Laplace transform equation, but it will take 1 hour to calculate the inverse Laplace transform. If you want to convert in simple way, definitely your transform equation should be in the form of standard equations. How we can convert in terms of standard equation? If this is in the form of 1 by s square, then you can say t into u of t. If this is in the form of 1 by s plus 1, then you can say e power minus t u of t. If this is in the form of 1 by s plus 1 whole square, then you can say that is equal to t into e power minus t u of t. You are having all the tabular form related to Laplace transform pairs. So, here for that, I want to make this equation in proper form to apply inverse Laplace transform. For that, I am doing this simple thing s plus 1 minus 1 I am writing like this s plus 1 whole square. So, I am separating s plus 1 by s plus 1 whole square s plus 1 whole square minus 1 by s plus 1 whole square. Now, this s plus 1 and square will get cancelled. So, here h of s is equal to 1 by s plus 1 minus 1 by s plus 1 whole square. So, now if you want impulse response from this, you need to apply inverse Laplace transform equation. That means inverse Laplace transform or shortcut of transform pairs. So, here if you want impulse response, you need to consider inverse Laplace transform for this transfer function. So, that is equivalent to inverse of s plus 1 minus inverse of 1 by s plus 1 whole square. We know how we need to consider time domain of 1 by s plus 1. According to the standard equations, so if you are having 1 by s plus a, the time domain signal may be e power minus a t u of t. If you are having 1 by s plus a whole square, then the time domain signal may be t into e power minus a t u of t. Here, I want to convert this first. So, e power in place of a I am having 1, here, here is plus means here you need to consider minus, minus t u of t 
So e power minus t u of t is the signal related to 1 by s plus 1 minus here I am having square means I need to consider t and here s plus 1 in denominator means e power minus t u of t again. So here h of t or impulse response of the system is I am taking common of e power minus t u of t here 1 minus t into e power minus t u of t. This is the impulse response of the system if the transfer function of the system is s by s plus 1 whole square like this way by doing simple modification of numerators and denominators we are going to get simple solutions for inverse Laplace transforms.